Why are bridge pickups so hot? Hey guys, if you value and appreciate the information that I share here on my Highland Guitars YouTube channel, consider supporting my channel by visiting eGuitarPlans.com and purchasing a plan for either building a guitar or one of the tools that you can use to build a guitar. And if you would like to help support the channel but want something more tangible, you can purchase a t-shirt from my merch shelf down below. Either way, there's links in the description. The other day I got a comment from a viewer who wanted to know if there might be an issue with installing a hotter wind pickup in the neck position and then a milder wind pickup in the bridge position. And my answer to him was, well, there might be. Uh, it, it really comes down to well, there's a lot of factors. There's playing style, there's the style of music that you're performing or the song that you're playing, and your sensitivity to the difference in treble, bass, and mid-range frequencies, which I know sounds kind of confusing. But what that question really brings up is another question, which I think might be an interesting topic, for today's video, and that is why are bridge pickups wound hotter than neck pickups? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It all has to do with balance. And when I say balance, I'm not really talking about necessarily uh, volume. I'm talking about the bass, mid-range, and treble frequencies. When you play a guitar, when you strum the strings, the strings obviously vibrate. Well, the maximum amplitude of vibration is happening right in the middle of the scale length. So if the scale starts at the nut and then ends right where the strings contact the face of the bridge, right in between there is where the maximum vibration is occurring. Well, in that area, the frequencies which are mostly associated with that um, wide range of vibration is the bass and mid-range frequencies. There are, there are a few treble frequencies, but there are far fewer of those frequencies up in this area. Towards the bridge and towards the nut where the strings are anchored, the string doesn't vibrate as much, but it does vibrate very fast. And the resulting frequencies that are generated in those areas at the ends of the scale length are the treble frequencies. And of course, there are some bass and some mid-range frequencies, but they're far less. So when you look at a guitar with two pickups, and this is just an example, let's say the two pickups in this guitar are exactly the same. They have the same number of winds, the same magnets, the same DC resistance. They're exactly the same. When you pluck the strings, we pretty much know from experience what's going to happen. The bridge pickup is going to sound quite a bit brighter than the neck pickup. And if these two are exactly the same, that difference can be jarring. When you switch from playing the neck pickup to, to the bridge pickup, all of a sudden it can just it can hit you like an ice pick in the ear. It's that the bridge can sound so incredibly bright. And it almost sounds, for some folks, it can be very dis disconcerting and it's not desirable for a lot of people. And of course, like I said, you know, it depends on the music you're playing, your playing style, your, you know, your, the, how hard you're attacking the strings with the pick, where you're plucking the strings. So, you know, a lot of factors involved. But in general, if the two pickups are identical, the neck is going to sound nice and warm and the bridge is going to sound extremely bright. Well, one of the ways that uh, guitar manufacturers try to uh, account for this and to try to lessen that that sudden jarring sensation that you get when you switch from the neck to the bridge is they wind the bridge pickup hotter. They put more turns of, of wire on the bobbins. And this is true whether it's a humbucker, a P90, you know, a Strat or Tele style single coil. The, the principle is exactly the same. And the reason why they'll, they'll put more turns on the bridge pickup is because 
the one of the rules of thumb in making pickups is the more turns of wire you put on the pickup bobbin, the higher the uh, resistance and the darker the pickup will sound. So because this pickup is positioned where it's going to be sounding extremely bright by overwinding it, they contain that brightness by reducing the number of uh, treble frequencies that the pickup can detect and instead producing more bass and mid-range frequencies. Now, for the most part, that the bridge pickup is still going to sound bright, but by overwinding it, we can actually tone it down. We can dial it in and balance it a little bit better with the neck pickup. But here's the rub. It's subjective. And it really comes down to when you play the guitar, do you feel that there's a substantial or jarring difference between the two? Or does it really not bother you at all? Can you adjust your playing style? Or maybe, like the uh, commenter asked, you could swap the two, put the hotter wind in the neck position, the milder wind in the bridge position, and you'll have a completely different kind of tone than what you might expect. Of course, it's gonna sound jarring, I think, to an extent if you switch suddenly from the neck to the bridge. But think about what happens when you have both pickups selected. How is that gonna sound? You're gonna have a really warm sounding neck pickup because it's wound hot. You're gonna have an extremely bright bridge pickup because it's a low wind in a part of the guitar where the strings are producing a lot of treble frequencies. So you might end up with something quite interesting if you play the two pickups selected together. In fact, it might be a situation where you get rid of your switch and just always have those two pickups active. It might be kind of an interesting thing. In the end, what I wanted to stress to that uh, viewer who commented was, there are no rules. Try it, see what happens. If you don't like it, you're not gonna throw the guitar away. You could either switch the pickups around or rewind the pickups or select different pickups if, if you're you know, more of a, a buyer rather than a, a, a maker. So I hope that kind of explains this whole idea of why the bridge pickups are usually wound hotter than the neck pickups. And hopefully, as a result, I've earned a thumbs up. If so, click the thumbs up. Uh, make sure to comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And keep this channel chugging along. And until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. <music>